Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Come, let's begin a new module on animals chapter. In this module, you will be studying all about invertebrates and their types. Invertebrates. Invertebrates are cold-blooded animals with no backbone. Invertebrates account for 97% of all animal species. Invertebrates can live on land or in water. Classification of invertebrates. Invertebrates are classified into eight main types. These include Porifera, Nidaria, Platyhelminthes, Nematoda, Annelida, Echinoderms, Mollusca, and Arthropoda. Porifera. Phylum Porifera are the lowest multicellular organisms belonging to the kingdom Animalia. The phylum Porifera comprises of sponges. The sponges are simple invertebrates that are important inhabitants of the coral reef ecosystem. Since they have an appearance like sponges, they have been named so. Poriferans are asymmetrical with cylindrical shaped bodies and have pores which help them to absorb and withhold fluids. They do not have any organs in their bodies. They come in various sizes, shapes and colors. Some of the examples of sponges include glass sponge, demo sponge, Nidaria. Nidaria is a phylum under the kingdom Animalia. These are aquatic species seen in both marine and freshwater habitats. Nidaria it is derived from a Greek word nidos, meaning stinging cells. They are characterized by the special stinging structures in the tentacles surrounding the mouth. They are the simplest living organisms that have tissues and a definite shape. They are soft bodied. Nidarians are radially symmetrical, that is, they can be divided into two identical halves by any plane passing through the central axis of the body. Some of the examples of nidarians include jellyfish, sea anemones, corals. These are the marine species. Hydras are the freshwater species. Platyhelminthes. The simplest animals that are bilaterally symmetrical and composed of three fundamental cell layers are the platyhelminthes. These are one of the phylum under the kingdom Animalia. They are also known as flatworms. They lack a true body cavity. They are unsegmented, soft bodied invertebrates which have a flat body from head to tail. Examples of platyhelminthes are flukes, tapeworm, planarians. Nematode. Nematodes are invertebrates that are round with a pseudo body cavity. They are also bilaterally symmetrical and have elongated, unsegmented and thin hair like bodies. That is why they are named nematodes which means thread in Greek. They are known as round worms. They are free living or live as parasites. They inhabit every habitat including water and land. Examples of nematodes are hookworms and pinworms. Annelids. Phylum Annelida is a very broad phylum belonging to the kingdom Animalia. The annelids are found in aquatic as well as terrestrial environments. These are bilaterally symmetrical invertebrates. The segmented body distinguishes from any other organism. Regeneration is a very common characteristic of the annelids. Examples of annelids include earthworms, leeches. Echinoderms. Echinoderms are marine invertebrates. They have spiny endoskeleton, that is they have spines or bumps covering the outer surface of their bodies. They have five-sided radial symmetry. They have a water vas vascular system with the tube feet. Echinoderms can regenerate its body parts. Example, sea star, sea urchins, sea cucumber. 
Mollusca. Mollusca is the second largest phylum of invertebrate animals after Arthropoda. These animals have a soft body, lacking segments and usually enclosed in a shell. Members of this phylum are known as mollusks. Mollusks are the largest marine animals. Some also live in freshwater and terrestrial habitats as well. Mollusks have a distinct head, muscular foot with a visceral hump. All mollusks have a mantle, a thick fold of tissue that covers the internal organs. Most mussels usually have an external or an internal shell and some of them are also without it. These shells encloses, supports and protects the soft parts of an animal. Some of the most mollusks with external shells include oysters, clams, scallops and mussels. Mollusks with internal shells include cuttlefish and squid. Octopus is the only mollusk without a shell. Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of invertebrates. These are invertebrates with jointed legs and hard exoskeletons. The exoskeleton gives protection and shape to the animal and is made up of a material called chitin. Arthropoda are bilaterally symmetrical and their body is segmented into head, thorax and abdomen. They have special appendages called antennae. Arthropoda are found in all parts of the world in a wide variety of environments from deep sea to the frozen arctic regions. Arthropods are further divided into insects, arachnids, crustaceans and myriapods. If you have liked this video then hit the like button and subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.